I started my career like a car designer in uh, 1988 in uh, Studio Bertone, the Lamborghini Miura, Countach. I decided to accept the invitation by Pininfarina. And uh, they selected my interior proposal, the F50, F40, F355. The project was the new California, fat, rich American clients. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jeff Stearns connected through cars. If they're big wigs, we'll have them on the show. And yes, we'll talk about cars and everything else. Here he is now, Jeff Stearns. Jeff Stearns connected through cars. I'm speaking a little more slowly today because I have my good friend Maurizio Corby of senior designer of Pina Farina Studios in Italy, whose primary language is Italian on. I've been told that I speak quickly even if your primary language is English, so I'll have to go double slow today. I'm very, very excited and I suggest that if you are listening on audio, that you change and go to jeffsterns.com and look up the video version because Maurizio will be sharing some uh, beautiful art with us and some of his handiwork in designing. So welcome to you, Maurizio. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jeff, for your invitation. Honor for me to stay with you this morning. Wonderful. And I'm looking at my notes here, Maurizio. Do you mind talking a little bit about your career and then some of the, maybe the Ferrari projects that you've worked on? Yes. I started my career like a car designer in uh, 1988 in uh, Studio Bertone. Many people addict of uh, car design know very well Bertone. Because in that time, Bertone was uh, important than uh, Pininfarina. Pininfarina was involved in a Ferrari project and uh, Bertone for a Lamborghini project. So, for example, the Lamborghini Miura, Countach, both are masterpieces designed by Studio Bertone. But uh, in reality, my, my dream uh, was to, to work in Pininfarina because uh, since I was a young boy, I, I, I was a Ferrari fan. So for me, starting to work in Pininfarina really could be fantastic. So past one year in Bertone, I received an invitation by Pininfarina Studio. I cannot believe what could happen. And uh, I decided to accept the, the invitation by Pininfarina. It was uh, spring uh, '89, and my um, in summer Ferrari 116. Uh, and commercial name uh, was uh, Ferrari 400. Uh, it was the return of the Ferrari the engine in in uh, front of the car. It's a beautiful car. Ferrari 400, this is the 2 plus 2 with the back seat, right or no? Exactly. And uh, they selected my interior proposal. So the first edition of uh, the Ferrari 466, and the interior is mine. So an, another beautiful project arrived uh, in, the, in our studio uh, was the F50. Arrived uh, after the f F40. Ferrari people was uh, enough uh, surprised at the um, success of the F40 because, uh, in effect, was uh, the, the body uh, was uh, the Ferrari 3, 328, and they asked to prepare a race car, changing only the bonnet and uh, the tail. Adding a, a, a big, large uh, uh, wing on the back, 
really a very su surprise for everybody, the, um, the success of this. So the F-50 arrived to reply the success of the F-40 F in, in other architecture open uh, was a spider. All studio prepared. And finally, the, the, the Ferrari staff selected them many, many parts of uh, the different, pro different proposals. So it's a sort of a patchwork. Nobody would think that when you look at it. Then one year later, I designed the F355. They selected my side and uh, the front. The um, detail, the rear, is uh, from an, uh, another colleague. You designed the front of the Ferrari 355. Exactly. They also the, the new side uh, with the new air intake. So we arrived in December 92. My director asked me ah. to start a new research for um, the new, the project was the new California. In December 92, I told you, Mr. Rachot asked me to start this new, very exciting project. Mm -hmm. His uh, idea using the chassis of the 456 and with a shorter wheelbase and make a new convertible, so the new California. But then during the process, the Ferrari CEO, Mr. Luca Montezemolo, decided to make a new coupe, not convertible. Finally, the name began uh, F. Iranello. But the origin of the project was uh, the new California. California did very well. Then the, the new California arrived many years later, but shorter, uh, not 12 cylinders, eight cylinders. So I, I has been uh, the um, 550 Maranello, very hard process and project, very long, many, many changements during the process, very stressing. But finally, I think it was uh, one of the best production of Ferrari in the last 20 years. You think the 550 Marinello, which was the grand touring body, 12-cylinder yes. front engine, uh, exactly. gated manual transmission, you feel that this is the best Ferrari in the era? My now, opinion is a beautiful proportion, a classic, modern at the same time. Were you involved with the Ferrari 456? Yes, but my exterior proposal has been not selected, but they selected um, my proposal over the interior. Okay. The car is mine. That car on the exterior, are you familiar with the Ford Probe? I remember. Not so... In detail, I remember for the probe. I'll put photo of 456 and photo of Ford probe. I thought it was a similar design on exterior. Your interior, perfect. Were you involved in 360? Another project, very, very strange. He decided to change the architecture of the car because he was very sensitive for... Uh, American clients, his opinion was uh, the, the first one, chassis was not so comfortable for uh, the fat, rich American clients. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we, we restart the research. They selected the proposal of another colleague. It's funny, but for me, not so... so has been uh, very hard. Do you think that Ferrari got too large at with the 360? They had more space uh, to wear a hat. It was very important, <laughs> very important to wear a hat in your Ferrari. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but overall design language of 360... We it's over beautiful. here in the U.S. market, we, we had 360 Spider, 360 Coupe, right? Or did yes. we call it Bar Barchetta? Uh, maybe Barchetta. 
Yes. Yes. So, but is this car in proportion larger than you like? I think it's a little bit too wide, not too long, but maybe too, too wide. This kind of uh, Ferraris, Berlinetta, usually was uh, a little more compact, but the new deal for this kind of cars to host the um, catalytic in the rear to be more strong for crash test, so push the engineers to have a chassis bigger. Understand. So in this case, which kind of goes against you and goes a little bit against Pininfarina, the form came a little bit after the function instead of starting with pure design. Is that right? Yes. So, uh, so what did you work on after 360? The new, the new Enzo, but not selected my proposals. And then the last one has been the California. Okay. I selected the, the, the front side. The front is mine of the, the first California. And that's right. California came after 360. I, I, my brain yes. was behind because we went from it has 550. Been the last, uh, Project Ferraris, then uh, they selected my proposal. Uh, and then Ferrari started to work in a, their studio inside the, the, the factory. No, Pininfarina um, continues to collaborate uh, with Ferrari in uh, competition, but then uh, they decided to work uh, alone. Uh, in, uh, their studio in Modena. Many, many clients are today arriving from uh, Far East, China, India, Vietnam, some, some collaborations with the European company, also for uh, American companies. Many, many projects are arriving from China, for example. And this is to be clear, this is not Ferrari. Not Ferrari. Not. Right. Okay. So Pininfarina Studio is working on projects. Unfortunately, they are, um, in this moment, they are talking with the Ferrari people to try to restart collaboration uh, with them. I hope it's possible because the tradition. Both the company, Pininfarina and Ferrari, have been partners for many years, making um, beautiful cars and uh, masterpieces. Do you know why or can you say why Ferrari decided to take everything in-house? Because they spend a lot of money to create uh, the studio inside with the, the, the director, uh, many designers. So it's normal. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's possible to understand. They want to, to make a loan. Okay, but it's not because of a disagreement or something. No, 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 for, not for this reason. Maybe also the dead of Sergio Pininfarina and uh, then uh, the, of his son Andrea changed the, the situation, relationship between uh, the, the companies is changed. Okay, so purely economic reasons or normal migration for a manufacturer to take their studio inside, I understand. Yes, is, is the life. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars. 